How's it going everyone? My name is Aeon and welcome back to more Creator Beatdown. Today we're going to be tackling the number one glow boy, Darwin. Darwin is a creator who's been really rising in 2.1 and has proven himself to be one of the absolute best design creators. However, many people are criticizing his gameplay. So today we are going to be looking into the flow, timing, and balancing of the, his three levels, Lockout, Prism, and Family, and see if this is actually true. So without further ado, let's get started with the first level. Now let's start with Lockout. The flow of the level is pretty good, it's all over very well, it goes well with the music, all the gameplay is very fluent and it's enjoyable to play. However, there is one transition at the drop that is very sudden and it doesn't give you a lot of breathing room, making it kind of annoying. It's not too bad, but it's a little nitpick that I want to give. Alright, so timing. When it comes to timing, there are absolutely no strict timings at all. It's very straightforward. It's very lenient, it's very nice towards you, and I very like that. However, there's a blue orb in the beginning that should have an H block since it's so close to the ground that you have a tendency to jump right after it making you die, which is a tiny bit annoying, but it's nothing too bad. When it comes to balance, the difficulty is even all the way through. It's very fun, it's fast paced and very simple gameplay. There's nothing really I have to say here. The balance is perfect almost. So in conclusion, the level is fast, it's fun, and very simple gameplay, easy to sight read, and plain and simple, it's fun to play. There's very few things that I have to say about this level. Very well done. Alright, Prison. When it comes to flow, it's just one thing I want to talk about, and that is because of the flashing lights at the drop, you can't really see what's going on, making the drop a little bit luck-based, which I can't really say I like. You can't really see the obstacles, so you kind of have to know what to do. And if you're a first-time player like I was, this can get a little bit problematic, but it's nothing too bad. Other than the drop transition, however, the gameplay is very fun, it's very nice, it flows well, and there are no weird jumps or anything just randomly thrown at you. When it comes to timing, there are really no out of place timings at all. There are no all of a sudden timings. It's very simple, it's very easy to sight read because there are no difficult timings in the level, which I personally very much like. It's 
very well suited for a 6 star and I found it extremely fun. When it comes to balance, I found the gameplay to be very nice and even in difficulty. The difficulty was reflected by the song as it goes faster when it's fast, it goes slower when it's slow, and the gameplay, even though some parts are faster than the others, it's not difficult by any means. It's very well reflected. However, I do feel as the spider at the end was a bit too easy, which is not a bad thing, of course, but it's kind of a letdown from the rest of the level. But in conclusion, yet another super fun fast rate level by Darwin. He's definitely on a roll right now. When it comes to family, the flow, it has a couple things to talk about. First off, the moving objects in the first ball part makes it so you have barely any time to react, making it feel kind of stressful to play. Although it's not very difficult gameplay, you have very little reaction time as they just suddenly pop into existence, and I feel like this is a little bit of an issue. Uh, Darwin also suffers a little bit from flashy transition syndrome, meaning that his transitions usually st start with a very bright and blinding light that's just thrown at you for a split se second, making it kind of hard to see where you're supposed to do it, and makes it kind of hard to do properly. And while it's not too bad, and the gameplay is usually pretty easy, it's a little bit odd. Also, the transition into the 4 times speed wave is kind of weird. It requires a very small input, which can throw you a little bit off. I personally die there when getting there first, because I did not expect to die there. But it's just a little tiny thing, it's not too bad. However, other than that, the flow was very good, their transitions aren't buggy or whatever. It's just that one transition into the quad speed wave and the flashy transitions. When it comes to timing, the super late timing in the spider at around 80% is, for me, unnecessary because the pa part is so fast and all the timing before that are instant. When you're getting there for the first time, you're assuming that you can hit it instantly. And it's kind of weird for me to suddenly have a really hard timing, especially in an 8 star. When it comes to balance, the balancing isn't very much to talk about. There's only two things I found that are way harder than the rest. The first flying is actually really, really difficult. I had a lot of problems with it, surprisingly, and it's way harder than the rest of the level. Other than that, the quad speed wave is a little bit difficult, but that might be me being bad at wave. But the rest of the level, well balanced, nothing too hard, nothing too easy. It's very fun, and in conclusion, the level as the rest is very fun, however to me it seems like it's a failed easy demon attempt, because there were a couple parts that were way harder than the rest of the level, meaning it might have tried to push the difficulty a little bit. It has a couple odd timings every now and then, but the transitions are all nice, it's smooth, and once you get it down it's a very fun level to play, very well done Darwin. So overall I found the levels to be extremely fun to play, I had no trouble with them, they were all fun and enjoyable. I found it to be probably the favorite uh, set of three levels that I've done over the past episodes and I think that the levels definitely deserve it. I don't think Darwin deserves his uh, rumor that his gameplay is usually bad. I think it's very fun to play. There were a couple parts that were a tiny little bit laggy. I did not really mention that because that goes on to the deco but that kind of makes the gameplay a little bit worse. However that's not a big issue. If you have a decent computer it should be fine. 
So yeah, I think that Darwin should not have the rumor that his gameplay is bad. I found them very fun, and I think you all should definitely go give them a try if you haven't already. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this creator beatdown on Darwin. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, like what you saw. Please be sure to subscribe if you want to. It's free. I also do more content like this. I do creator beatdowns where I go and analyze the creator's levels. And I have a couple commentary series that I'm running. So if you want to check it out, please do. Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I post it regularly. If you want to come chat with me, hit me up on Discord. Link to my server is in the description. And as always, guys, peace.